This is already the last episode of the series yeah. and we decided to finish this with a bang and two buns. <laughs> Our next guests are experts in camping and van life precisely. They're so big in Quebec that even Ricardo reacted when they arrived on set last time we shot. Le Lucky Base Camp! J'en reviens pas! Le Lucky Base Camp live! Je suis content de te voir. Hey, on a vraiment. les mains pleines de miel. Hey, ça se peut Comment pas. ça va? Hey, je suis trop content de te rencontrer. So, um, we, we thought of inviting them to experience Route 148 and to have their impression on the project that we are working on. And their name is... Prêt pour la route! Which means... Ready for the road. Ready for the road. Did you mime their name? Yeah. Nice, okay. In this episode, we are visiting three different spots that accepted to be a part of Route 148, our little van life network to make the Pontiac the most van life friendly places on earth. In Quebec. Okay, in Quebec. <laughs> are you prêt pour la route? I am prêt pour la route, Anne. Are you prêt pour la route? I'm ready for the road. It's a good name, actually. Yeah. My name is Dom. I'm a Canadian content creator and a van lifer. Before hopping on my next adventure, I wanted to give you a tour of my own backyard, the Pontiac. In the next episodes, I will bring friends along to discover Route 148, a van life project we've been working on with my friends at Visage Régionaux. These girls are a reference in community development projects across the province. Our mission here is simple. Make the Pontiac the most van life friendly place in Quebec. So buckle up for this new episode of Van Life Saga. Oh, tabernucci. <laughs> uh, I bought a Pilsner, a Honey Heist, an Enchanted Island, and an Anide Volk. What did you buy? Uh, Border Runner, Chapel Boys, and Berserker. And these are all Berserker. beers that you can buy at the Brauwerk Hoffman. It's a microbrewery in the Pontiac. It's the biggest one, it's the best one. It's probably the only one too, right? I yeah. think so, yeah. And what's the good news about this brewery? C'est pas seulement une microbrasserie, mm -mm. on peut aussi stationner nos vans. So they accepted to be part of the 148 project for van lifers. So basically what you could do is drive for a full day, come park here, Drink your beer. Buy beers. Then, yeah, buy a lot of beers and then sleep in the parking lot if you want. Val and Alex are among the largest travel influencers of the province of Quebec. Not only did they succeed at creating relevant van life content, but this niche is also their main source of income today. On top of enjoying what they do, they made a business out of their passion, traveling thousands of miles to entertain and inform their audience year-round. A true example of perseverance in the Quebec influence world. Content de vous voir. Hey, oui, Merci d'être venu pour vrai. Allô? Vous êtes vraiment hâte d'être venu. Merci ben, beaucoup. Ça fait plaisir. Merci. Là, là, euh, gros kit déjà en partant ce ben, matin. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? On n'y est pas. À matin, ça va être les petites toasts à la braise sur le barbecue, les œufs. Puis euh, ça devrait être un beau petit déjeuner en perspective. Si on cuisine, on cuisine. Là. OK. T'as-tu du jambon pis tout? J'ai tout. Je, vous, allez, vous avez été dans les premiers influenceurs de voyage que j'ai regardé, que j'ai fait « Oh mon Dieu, qu'ils font bien ça! » Voulez-vous me dire comment, comment ça a parti? Euh, ben, ça a commencé qu'on a des chiens, nous. On avait deux chiens avant. Okay. Puis on voulait voyager, on voulait faire des petits road trips comme ça. Puis prendre l'avion, c'était pas une possibilité pour nous. Fait qu'on s'est dit, ben, achetons une roulotte. Puis là, ben, en fait, il fallait adapter, trouver une façon de générer des revenus sur la route. Parce que là, on essaie de faire un grand voyage, mais ouais. t'sais, pas capable d'avoir assez de vacances pour y arriver. Fait que on a, euh, on a modifié mon, mon, ma façon de travailler. Moi, j'étais courtier hypothécaire, je faisais des prêts. Okay. Puis le but euh, était de trouver une façon de rendre ça mobile puis de faire ça sur la route. Fait que c'est là qu'il est né prêt pour la route. On a commencé notre petite série vidéo à travers ça. Fait que Val, elle s'occupait du volet. C'est elle qui fait toute la job, là. C'est elle qui fait toute la Donc, job. Point. La seconde qui est question de travail, c'est quand on travaillait. Mais il faut aussi que quelqu'un parle dans les vidéos, là. Ça prenait un Alexandre okay. qui, qui explique tout ce qu'il voit. 
Puis là, ben, avec le temps, le projet a évolué. La passion de créer du contenu sur le web a pris le dessus. Notre ouais. but, c'était de partager un peu nos expériences, nos bons coups, nos mauvais coups, puis de, de, de permettre à tout le monde de bénéficier de nos, euh, nos erreurs. <rire> puis de... Fait qu'on en a fait beaucoup des erreurs, mais tranquillement, justement, on a pris tellement d'expérience que ça, ça nous a positionné tranquillement comme, comme référence dans, dans le domaine. Ouais. C'est là qu'il est devenu, prêt pour la route, c'est devenu notre seul métier. Fait que là, maintenant, on fait plus de prêt, on est juste prêt. Dans la, dans la, la position pour la route, pour, la okay, route, pour prendre la route. Ben oui, je suis vraiment content que vous soyez ici. Je suis vraiment content qu'on qu bouffe. Yes. Êtes-vous prêt pour la route? On est prêt pour la route. <rire> On est même prêt pour déjeuner aussi. Allons-y, allons-y. We woke up in this beautiful place called Rafting Momentum. Mm -hmm. This is a place where you can go rafting, uh, but we didn't. We didn't. <laughs> But <laughs> you can also rent uh, camping spots. Yes, it feels like this place was especially designed for van lifers mm -hmm. because it has cottages, it has a big barn with a bar inside, you have picnic tables, bonfires, outdoor showers, outdoor toilets, you have plenty of space for vans. So, Rafting Momentum is a proud member of Route 148. Thanks, Rafting Momentum! Amazing place. Prêt pour la route? Ben oui! Êtes-vous prêt pour la hache? <rire> on est plus prêt que jamais! Hey, on est à Aventure Eliante sur le bord de la rivière, sur le bord de la 148, puis believe it or not, il a accepté ici de faire un spot pour les vannes. Hein? Il a fait ça sur mesure pour nous autres. Là. Ça va être incroyable. Parce qu'en plus de pouvoir partir en canot, pêcher, faire du rafting, etc., tu peux venir pitcher de la hache. Puis coucher là. Il y a des toilettes. Ah oui, c'est Ah, c'est pratique pour les vannes. Douche, il laisse ça ouvert oh, ouais. pour les vannes. Pour les vannes mm -hmm. ouais. ouais. C'est complètement cinglé. Fait qu'on ira voir les toilettes tantôt, je vous invite à un petit tour de toilettes. Mais pour l'instant, on va aller lancer de la hache ensemble. Et je pense que juste par la force des chemises, on devrait faire gars contre les filles. <rire> la force des chemises! Oh. Ça me tente tu ah, yes. On fait ça? Let's go! Let's yes. go. Ils veulent se donner de la confiance. <rire> C'est ça. <rire> Quel est le plan de match pour notre équipe masculine canadienne? Alors, on va chercher la victoire, rien de moins que viser le bullseye à chaque coup. À chaque coup. Et est-ce qu'on va mettre de l'énergie dans les coins, on va mettre de la pression sur l'attaquant? Pas du tout. Que des lancers de RDS. C'était Dominique Fauché pour RDS Sport avec. Alex de RDS Sport aussi. <rire> On est prêt. <rire> Allons-y. Yeah! Wow! Oh! Oh! Manque de. Yeah! <rire> hey, ça va pas du tout, man. Y'a rien qui marche, là. Y'a où ma hache? Elle est pas sur le mur. Ben non. <rire> Ça donne des points. Ça chose qui marche pas des haches, là. tu lui as donné quel genre de hache? 0 à 13. C'est 0 à 13. Ouais. Ouais. Attends, mais 5 fois 0, ça fait quoi déjà? 5 fois 0, ça fait 5. 0 13. C'est ça, 5 fois 0? 5 fois 0, ça fait 5. So Val and I beat you guys pretty hard, hein? Yeah. I think you made no points at all. I did not succeed in successfully throwing an axe, yeah. so I will therefore take it off of my resume. But Aventure Eliante is such a nice place. Yeah, it's epic. It's, it's, and the yeah. toilets. The, the toilets are so clean, it's not even funny. And the people there are really nice. Yeah, so Aventure Eliante, proud member of 148 Route, just amazing. And it's close to gas station, drugstore, grocery store, restaurant. Everything. Mm. You definitely should go there. Definitely. Definitely. De definitely go there. Definitely go, go there. there. In Quebec, we have a national dish called the poutine. The poutine is a mix of potatoes, 
gravy gravy and cheese cheese that that makes squeak squeak yeah the, the squeak squeak cheese now you are experts in the poutine tell me about it yeah we even have some videos on our channel in which we taste all different poutines especially in florida because there's a lot of, of uh, french canadians that yeah. live in florida so we tasted a lot a lot of poutines there so okay. we taste you poutine everywhere but now we want to taste the two sauce poutine here. so what do you think is a two sauce poutine i think there's two sauce in the poutine <laughs> <laughs> in the Pontiac, they have their own version of our national dish mm -hmm. because not only they have gravy with all the mixture, but they add barbecue sauce. But it adds a little sweetness to the saltiness of the poutine, mm -hmm. which you can't call poutine. It's it's poutine. poutine. Very good. I I'd, I'd give it a, a solid nine point five. I like the the. the the two sauces, but I'd, I'd like to test it with like a, a different, may maybe a meat on it, maybe like oh. sausages or something like this. Maybe a meat on it. Oh yeah, maybe it, it'll be, uh, that, that's the, the thing that would make it, make it a tam. Well, the Pzinder sauce is an icon here in uh, Pontiac, but uh, it's genius because it looks like a decision that someone made in the kitchen and just went like, put everything on it. Yeah, they said, <laughs> why not? And they said, why not? And they did it. There you go. <laughs> so that's my vibe and that's the Pontiac vibe too. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. But it's kind of heavy. So it was a good idea to do some physical exercises. Yes, activities. So that's why we brought Alex and Val to another van life spot at Whitewater Rafting up north. And this is a beautiful peninsula surrounded by the Ottawa River. And they accepted van lifers there too so it's basically just a little part of paradise where you can park now want to go around it first because there's yeah. a lot of specs uh... so in the back we have a big box and trash room bag to put our trash oh, that's cool. yeah, okay. yeah it's called a water port so you can use it as a shower or just an extra a uh, water container. Right here, there's a big dog drawer. No, a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a big drawer for a oh, lot of wow. gear. So it goes okay. really deep. <laughs> you can also flip like this uh, swing arm and then the whole back, like from here to the other side, it all opens up really? with electric arms. Oh, that Takes a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. That's an amazing piece of equipment right there, actually. Once, once you open that, feels like you're outside so you can as we work full-time in the truck it's pretty nice to have wow. this option and that's it <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's go around the truck and then let's go see inside yeah sure okay right there yeah this one's for the zombies yeah okay that's what i thought so you just stick it in, in their throat, throat right yeah usually <laughs> you aim for the head as yeah. we don't have any kids we uh, took the back seat off and put a bike rack in yeah and it's really versatile. You can put all different kind of gear. The whole roof of the camper is also covered with solar panel. We have 750 watts. Holy sh! Plus shrimp. another external with 200. So 950 is the maximum we can get. You can put some paddle boards on this rack here. Yeah. And it's the best best area to go to the roof. And there's another diesel tank for the camper because if you if you want, you can use it as a cabin. You can just take it off the truck and leave it somewhere and just live out of it. Want to go in? That? Yeah, I want to go in. So the, the, the shower area is right here, so you can, the water goes down in a trap under there, okay. and you have uh, the curtain that goes on all the hooks here. Okay. So the kitchen area, large sink. Large sink, your window when you cook. Yeah. That's crazy, okay. And all your kitchen stuff here? Yeah. Okay, that's crazy, all your plates and pans and stuff. Yeah. And the coolest thing is this, like not this one, but this right here. It's uh, the place where I can charge all, all my gear, the camera gear. Oh, the camera gear goes. Yeah, and all the, the electricity is controlled here. So the lights. So it's like a spaceship. Yeah, exactly. So everything, I, we have a needed floor, 12 volt heated floor also. Okay. That's controlled with this. So that's storage. We use it for our backpacks and like anything that's in the way yeah, yeah, when yeah. we want to like work or eat or anything. We want to clear the tables, just put all the stuff over yeah. there. And it's a queen, uh, queen size bed. So okay. enough room for the two of us. Yeah, the, sh the, the cool thing is the shape of the camper. It goes a little bit like this. Yeah. So it makes a nice, uh, nice shape for a 
your living for, area. For a little couch. Yeah. And this is your fridge? Yeah, exactly. Right. Now it's locked. <laughs> it's locked. And there's storage everywhere, right? This is the toilet. Oh, it's the toilet. Yeah. We're gonna leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> En tout cas, moi, ce qui m'a touché le plus, ce qui m'a le plus frappé, c'est vraiment les vues tout le long de la route, toujours sur le bord de la rivière, c'est magnifique. Puis moi, ce que j'ai adoré, c'est les grands espaces verts, puis il y a toujours un accès à l'eau. Puis dans tous nos voyages, je pense c'est ça qu'on recherche le plus, les accès à l'eau. Puis ici, il n'y a rien que ça. <rire> L'idée de faire des arrêts pour les Van Lifer autour de la 148, c'est vraiment une idée de génie. C'est ça qu'on a besoin en 2022. C'est ça que les gens recherchent, puis je pense qu'ils ont mis le doigt dessus. Le, beau, le bon côté pour l'instant, c'est que c'est encore une région qui est un peu méconnue du Québec. Fait qu'il n'y a pas beaucoup de monde. C'est tranquille au bout. On peut venir ici puis avoir des spots sur le bord de l'eau magnifiques. C'est vraiment... Ça on simplifie. Sent, on se sent comme chez nous, puis on dirait que le temps, il s'arrête quand on, on dépose les pieds ici. C'est vraiment... Euh, une merveille. C'est relaxant ici. Payroll deductions. T'es sûr que c'est moins sûr? Helping out the needy. Helping out the poor. They're working for nothing at that patriotic store. I'll be free as a bird. It is the end of our project on the Route 148 in the Pontiac. Yes. It was such a blast. It was super fun. And since it's an ongoing project, make sure to check on a daily basis or on a weekly basis on destinationpontiac.ca because those girls are going to add details every now and then with new spots that they get from people in the party. I would like to thank um, Colleen, Claude and Chantal at the MRC. These girls did an amazing job calling everyone for the, the, the Project 148. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like to thank also all the people that we met along the way and the participants. So Sasha, Ricardo, Dominic Menard and Prêt pour la route. And I would like to thank Anne <laughs> for putting this project together with Visage Régionaux, the MRC Pontiac and Van Life Saga because as we said in the intro, you guys are experts in community development projects. So if you want a route like the 148 in your own region, whether it's in Canada or Quebec, just call them. We'd be more than happy to help you with your Van Life route or any kind of project for that matter. Yeah, it was so fun. So is it the end of our duet? It's the end of our duet. And for the people wondering, Anne is not my girlfriend. Anne is just a friend, a very normal, boring yeah. friend. Okay, so bye, Anne. Okay, so I'm keeping the van. Okay, see you later. Bye. Good luck with the price of gas. Thanks again, everyone. I would like to thank my friend, Alex one of the guys behind the cameras that I've known for 30 years now. Sasha, for embarking in every adventure I throw at him, even when he needs to wear wetsuits. And Anne and her team, for believing that the regions of Quebec are part of the solution for the future of the province. And finally, thanks to the people of the Pontiac, for reminding me that I don't need to drive very far to see the most beautiful sunsets and to meet the most epic people. If you see me driving down the 148, please honk or wave. We could go for a Putin Dursos together. French Canadian lesson number 81. Crotte de fromage. Cheese curd. This is the type of cheese we put on our national dish, a de poutine. And it's a very funny expression because technically, crotte de fromage means cheese poop. Crotte, poop, de fromage, cheese. Cheese poop. Poop cheese. Cheese poop, cheese poop, poop cheese. Say it. Crotte de fromage, cheese poop. It's very satisfying. <laughs> Oh, my mama dad, if we could have got some love.